This is a Heart Opener Tarot Spread Pick a Card. There's only four cards in this, so we'll try to make it quick, fun, informational, everything you want from a card spread. I might fall a little short though. And... Alright, so we have a frog, we have a wolf, and we have a polar bear. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, pick whichever one resonates for you or is your favorite, and we'll get started. Alright? So let's get started with the frog. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's pretty cool. He's like one of those paper stamps where it impresses the, uh, the paper or the envelope, whatever you want to do with your stationery. Anyway, um, so the first card is going to be, why is your heart closed? Uh, why is your heart closed? We have the sun in reverse. The sun in reverse is not good or positive. Troubled, unrelaxed, worried, not in, uh, enjoying life, not happy, not cheerful, no passion, not glowing or shining. So, no happiness, um, possibly in your family. There's something... Um, something either wrong with a family member or maybe they're sick, maybe they're ill, maybe they're elderly and they kind of are reaching that point or you're not feeling happy because of certain other issues that could be financial or health related issues or maybe it's personal and it's kind of relationship based or something but something is going on probably um, with a miscarriage, or you might be rethinking a lot of different things in your life, like what certain things that, you know, have brought you to that point of unhappiness, okay? So your next card is how can you open your heart? We have the Hermit card. The Hermit card um, is self-discovery, so... Um, wisdom, enlightenment, looking at the full picture from above and below. So helping others to find their path, understanding the whole situation, and reference for other people. Searching for answers of, for, or about the truth. Um, highly reachable. Uh, following your own star, and finding goals. So you might actually be rethinking how you look at life and what you want out of life, um, maybe to right some wrongs of your past as well. So there's going to be a bit of a uh, soul-searching, self-discovery thing going on for you, which is good. Um, so we have, how can you view the world through the eyes of love? So there could be kind of looking at yourself through somebody else's eyes, maybe your mom, dad, a personal relationship, um, somebody else. So then you can see what you need to change about yourself, how you look to certain people, um, certain things that you may think is important and maybe some other older people might not, you know, type things. But you're looking at it from a different perspective at this point. So. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is celebration, dance, reasons to be cheerful, shared happiness, happiness after a good harvest. So there's love, family, and relationships. So you're actually looking from within and finding yourself. Um, and that, it might be a little bit hard right now, but I feel like it's going to be kind of like gratitude that you have the family that you do, okay? Um, and it might come with kind of an obscene, um, like, somebody's going to say something to you. And it's going to come as kind of obscene or kind of abrupt. And you might actually get a little bit hurt by it, but I feel like it wasn't meant to be hurt. But it was meant to make you think, and I feel at that point you're you're thinking about everything like, how would I handle this if I was younger, and then like kind of just go with the flow. 
okay? So I just think it's kind of um, gonna be kind of like a, a cheeky comment or something. And it's just gonna bring you out of a bad mood, okay? And I feel like it's gonna probably be either a great uncle or a great aunt, um, or somebody from, like, maybe your mother's side of the family. That's gonna say something that's totally, like, just out of left field, you know. Um, but I feel like somebody's, somebody's gonna light me up a little bit, okay? Okay, so, um, what will, um, be available to see as a result? We have... We have the lovers in reverse. The lovers in reverse is no love or choice. So there's no love, no paradise, no um, innocence or purity, untrue, and no joy. There's cold and darkness here and um, not making it your heart's choice. I feel like you're kind of with somebody either for security or because of like an arranged marriage type situation. But, um, it could also be based on a fight, okay? I feel like this relationship is kind of like you're together because you're either married or you've made a commitment to this person and then you're just kind of like regretting it. And now you just kind of open up to the fact of, Maybe I shouldn't be here. Okay, so I got the channeled message for you, group one, as um, leaving one relationship to start a new one, or leaving a relationship after a fight or stagnation. So there's there's something here that's not exciting or fulfilling, and you're just like, I don't want to be in a relationship that I don't feel with my whole self. Like, I don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm constantly walking on eggshells. I'm constantly trying to uh, push this bravado that I am somebody who I'm not. You know, it's it's not good. Um, so, you know, group one, hopefully this helped you out. And yes, the frog is full of wisdom. Um, especially the frog prince. So, hopefully you like this. And I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully everything works out for you. I know it's a little bit short and sweet, but, um, you know, some people like it short and sweet. Anyway, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Alrighty. Uh, we have the wolf. He's pretty cool. I got him in one of those kinder eggs, so, you know, I just wanted some different little creatures, so figured I'd do something with my little friends today. Alright, so group two, we have, why is your heart closed in the first place? We have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is finance and health. So, solidarity, um, safety, um, enjoying life, solid values, being responsible, uh, and close to reality. Um, being strong and focused on wealth, hard work, and consistency, as well as determination. So you're you're kind of not in like a like relationship relationship. I feel like you work too much, and you can't really enjoy your relationships with other people at the moment. But um. Yeah, I feel like you're so into making sure that you're financially secure before doing anything else, you know. Um, so we have number two. Um, number two was, how can you open your heart? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is be patient, waiting for the right moment, neutrality. Um, which is finance and health. Um, but I feel like it's a different thing altogether. I feel like you might work in finance or you might work in the health. Um, a health-based 
career and I feel like you're kind of going to cross paths with somebody who is of the opposite venture. Um, and it might actually be um, kind of like a life-saving thing if not a love situation. So you know, it might be a little bit different for you. Anyway, so let's see, number three. Uh, how can you view the world through the eyes of love? We have the High Priestess in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse is not listening or following your intuition. Not doing what, in, what you should in an instinctive sense um, is in the right. So there's no health here. Um... Not listening to your inner voice, perhaps being extreme. So there's um, there there's kind of um, a show off mentality because the wolf is what the alpha or part of a pack or a lone wolf. So uh, wolves tend to either show out or they kind of test their limits in situations. And I feel like you might be the same way. If you're an alpha, you kind of act on alpha instinct or what I'm doing isn't that intense type of thing. And it could be very extreme. Okay, so a lot of people might like kind of wince at the fact that you're doing stuff or you're acting out just out of being either A, nervous or B, just showing off. So there might be that intense <laughs> intensity as well. So might just be a little bit of a cringe for other people, you know. But anyway, number four, we have what will be available to see as a result. Um, we have the Hillophant. The Hillophant, uh, so religion or leaders or government. So we have lesson to be learnt or taught. Trust into the divine, um, reasonable and correct, divine love and honest soul. To acknowledge the evident and hidden, um, listen to and respect your intuition. So I feel like there is, there's going to be an eye-opening experience for you and it might come in the point of spiritual guidance or a close call okay so you know, hopefully it's not involving in a car crash a couple days ago we had a really bad one where two semis bumped into each other on the highway and then creamed into uh, two cop cars nobody survived and I was like oh the whole highway had to be shut down because of how it moved across and I feel like it might take an extreme thing like that to happen in order for you to change how you feel or how you look at particular situations okay so hopefully it doesn't come to that but hopefully you kind of learn your lesson from either a visit from the police officers or kind of having a close call okay hopefully it's a close call anyway um so lucky with money Wise investments on making money and the stock market. And then we have um, spiritual rewarding work. So hopefully you're working on yourself and uh, doing some self-care. Um, also, think about, <laughs> think about yourself as a valuable material thing. The, <laughs> the reason why I say this is that therapists do this all the time. It's either with a doll or a valuable item that you have in your house. I always think about it as whiskey. You would not put your whiskey in the front seat and drive recklessly. You would make sure that that whiskey gets home because you want to taste it, you want to enjoy it, you kind of want to relax and have a drink. That's how you have to think about yourself as well. Not to the point of being so delicate that you can't do anything, but to the point of you want to enjoy your life, you know, you want to get home safely, enjoy life, maybe have a drink, don't drive. But, um, 
you know, have something that you're looking forward to, you know what I mean? Don't always live on the edge of your seat, okay? Anyway, um, group two, hopefully this helps you out, and if you are an alpha, make sure you take care of yourself. Um, self-care days are good, it doesn't matter what you do as long as it's good for yourself. And if you're like me and you like some whiskey or a drink every now and again, I like a mojito every now and again too, so, you know. Um, but yeah, do something good for yourself and slow down and just enjoy your life and actually look forward to, you know, living your life gracefully. Alright, anyway, see you later, group two, alright? Alright, we have Polar Bear. He looks really cool. He was kind of big and the egg I got, the Kinder Egg. So anyway, um, let's get into your reading with the first card. Why is your heart closed? We have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is uh, strife and logic. So there's clear thoughts and ideas, decisive opportunities, intelligent decisions, opportunity for clarif clarity or clarifying uh, attributes of something, um, opportunity to admit something, um, being direct or judgmental. So there might be something where you're just kind of... Um, we're taking it back by somebody's comment. Maybe they don't like you. I haven't been liked by too many people because I tell them the truth. People, people can't handle the truth a lot of times. So, you know, you have to kind of, <laughs> you have to be thoughtful. I'm not like, you know, I don't want people to get like the wrong idea. But, like, um, if somebody needs a reality check, you need to give them a reality check, all right? But, um, you know, don't, don't totally, like, you know, like, across them, you know, where <laughs> they kind of hit a wall. They might be having a good day. They might smile for the first time. And then somebody says, like, a backhanded comment, oh, you can't smile at work. Listen, somebody said that to me one day, and I lit their lunchbox on fire. But anyway, enough about me. Anywho, so we have number two. We have How Can You Open Your Heart. We have the moon card. Oh, I love the moon card. Um, so there's uncertainty here. So there might be fear or feeling insecure, doubts, nightmares, transformation, need to achieve a goal. Difficult path, but it leads to a goal. There's hard times ahead. So, eh, it's, um, you're probably having financial issues. You're probably not sure where you're going to go, what you're going to do. Um, there might be some foreclosures. You, maybe you didn't pay some bills. Um, but I feel like it's, it's like a domino effect. Like, one thing happens and then the rest of the dominoes kind of go down. You know what I mean? Like, um... Maybe you had a breakup, then you lost your job, and then you could lose your house, and then all this other stuff. And it's just like, you don't have time to be depressed about your relationship. You don't have time to be depressed about losing your job. You don't have time to look for another job, because you're constantly behind the eight ball, as my mom says. Um, being behind the eight ball is never good, because you always feel like you're not getting any headway. You're just kind of sitting there like watching everything else happen like it's not your life, you know. Um, but hopefully you kind of pick up momentum where you can do that. You know, you can do whatever you set your mind to. You just have to do it in a deliberate pace. Not like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. Don't panic. Gracefully. Move deliberately. Get it done. Okay? You don't really have to freak out about it. I know it's hard sometimes to be like, oh, but you're so calm. You can be calm and be deliberate at the same time or ask for an extension. Some uh, 
Appliances will give you an extension, um, but you have to make sure that you're good to your word because they only do it once in a while, so, you know. Um, but it's doable. You can do it. Um, so, let's see. Number three, um, how can you view the world through the eyes of love? So this could be through somebody else's eyes. Your eyes somebody else's, your mom, dad, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, cohort, whatever the case. Um, but yeah, it's anybody else's to see where you need, um, a little bit of a push or a little bit of a remodeling. So we have a page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is receiving or offering something valuable. Growth, new opportunities, job, money, energy to create or add value. Um, good, honest intentions. So there's going to be some health and finance coming into your life soon. So, um, I feel like it's going to be relatively fast that you're going to get a job. It's probably going to be kind of something that you're overqualified for, but I've been in a couple jobs like that where I was overqualified for, and it's not like it's going to challenge you, it's just to help you get by, but I feel like once you get that started, you can look for another job that would be better suited for you, you know, and then, you know, take off from there. But anyway, just wait until the right opportunity, though. You don't want to be in between jobs or, you know, jobless. But anyway, let's see. Um, what will be available to see as a result? Um, so this is number four. We have temperance. Temperance is peace and happiness. So there's spiritual um, guides showing you the way, the right path, the path to find perfect balance, the body of God's temple, peace, harmony, calmness. So just chill out. <laughs> You'll be okay. Um, like the polar bear. You just need to chill. But, um, yeah, don't panic about things because employers know if, like, you're desperate for a job, they kind of like to keep you on edge, you know, about everything. So don't panic. If, if it looks like you don't need the job, you get it easier than if you need a job and then you don't get it, you know. It's psychological, but it works. Um, so, number three. I do have some channel messages. There's some underhanded activity. So, there's somebody here that's probably not the best at explaining themselves. Which, I feel like that's everybody. But, I feel like there might be some um, people that want you to do some other things in order to get money. It's not exactly good, and it's not exactly bad, but I feel like it's kind of like, it's not something that you can do for a long term, you know. So, let's see, we have help from peers, so I feel like a lot of your peers are kind of like, you should do this, I do this, blah, 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 and it's probably not a good fit. You're probably entirely different from the peers that you hang out with. I get that a lot, um, especially reading people's cards. You tend to find people that are a little bit lower life forms than you are, and that's not a throwback. That's actually true. People that have high energy want to have low energy people around them so that they don't have competition. And then we have um, speaking the truth. So you might have to speak the truth a little bit in order to get where you're going. And... Um, you might have to admit to uh, probably a court case or some felony charge. I feel like somebody has a felony charge. But I feel like it might be hard for you to get a normal job. Which, you know, it happens. But, um, yeah. I feel like some jobs don't want to hire felons. And then we have a post-grad degree. So you might have dropped out of high school or you might be going back to college for your um, just general um, degree 
which is fine. But, um, I feel like it's, it's probably something that you need in order to get, like, a, the job you want. You have to have some type of degree to get the job you want. So, I feel like that's kind of a big thing. And it might be a little bit hard, but I feel like there might be an online uh, thing for you. Or there might be some online courses you could take in order to get the job you want. Okay? You just need a little bit of funding to pay for the degree. Okay? Um, but it should be alright. I feel like it's no biggie. But anyway... Uh, group three, the polar bear group. Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. And it's all about, um, you know, just trying to find some type of balance in your life. I feel like a lot of the stuff that you're going to be doing probably isn't what you want to be doing, but it's kind of what you have to do in order to survive, which is fine. But I feel like long term you're going to have to make some um, changes, okay, anyway, group three, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form, and I will see you in the next reading, all right, later.